I am Anil Kumar sharing with you questions on quadratic equations which involve fractions, right? Let us see how to solve such questions. Well, you know my strategy. It is get rid of fractions, right? So that is the strategy which we always use to solve equations involving fractions, right? Now, how do we get rid of fractions? The key is lowest common denominator. So that is the key to get rid of fractions. Is it okay? So, so that is the key. Now, in our case, 2 and 4 are the numbers in the denominator. So the lowest common denominator is 4, right? So let's rewrite this equation and multiply each term by 4, correct? So we have 7x over 4 equal to 0. So what we'll do now here is, since the lowest common denominator is 4, we'll multiply each term by 4, both sides, right? So what we get here is, 4 goes 2 times, right? And there it cancels. So what we get here is 2x squared plus 7x equal to 0. So that's what we get. And now it is simpler to solve this equation, correct? Uh, one of the ways is we could factor. So if I factor, we get x as a common factor here. We're left with 2x plus 7 equal to 0. Now that gives us two possible solutions. One is when x equals to 0. The other one is when 2x plus 7 equal to 0, right? So these are the two possible solutions. This is from x and this is from the other factor. Okay. Let us solve and get the solution. So one solution is clear x equals to 0. So one solution is x equals to 0. Okay. The other one is 2x plus 7 equals to 0. Rearrange. So we have 2x equals to minus 7. x is equals to minus 7 divided by 2. So we have our answers and they are x equals to 0 or minus 7 over 2. So that is how you can actually solve quadratic equation with fractions. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope you appreciate my strategy of getting rid of fractions by multiplying each and every term by lowest common denominator. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. You can always share and subscribe my videos. They're all free. Thank you.